These days, working in tech is not just about knowing how to code. So many avenues and not all of them entail learning object-oriented code. This doesn't. But I do think there are some similarities between all the jobs that you can absolutely get while working in tech. So with those similarities, I'm going to talk about six habits you will need to be successful in any tech role at any tech company, big or small. Let's start with continuous learning. Tech is always changing, always growing. Very great example is AI. The boom in AI has been going freaking crazy this past couple of years with chat GBT, different AI models. Heck, the everyday tools that you are using are now leveraging AI to learn you, help you, and essentially elevate your experiences on your devices. Now, this doesn't mean you need to be taking courses, but you do need to stay up to date and relevant with what's out there, what's going on, and tend to try to get a little deep in what you're working on. One of my favorite ways, which I got from one of my professors, is reading technical blog posts, um, maybe keeping up with like a high level tech creator on YouTube and just play their videos in the morning. Very simple, very easy, not too much but you're staying on top of your game and you're staying on top of your product. Number two, which many people struggle with, is time management. You need to live by a calendar. And this isn't necessarily just to get work done, but to also manage your work-life balance. To A, focus, block off time for meetings, but C, block off time for rest. Set those boundaries. Tech can get really hectic and you don't want to burn yourself out trying to keep up with crazy work hours. If you are struggling with time management, learn to leverage tools like Trello, Notion, and one of my favorites is ChatGBT to help you prioritize your time and your tasks and time block throughout the day. Habit number three, effective communication. One of the biggest misconceptions about tech is only the hard skills. How technical are you? Can you code? Can you push out a product? And we fail to actually talk about the importance of soft skills and communicating. Like, be real. How are you supposed to get across to your client, your boss, your coworker, what you're working on, what are your pain points, where you're stuck, if you cannot effectively communicate? It's honestly insane. Be clear in your updates, be clear in your ideas, be clear in your needs. You need to learn to leverage your team, but you need to learn to communicate with them on how they can help you the most. It's super important, honestly. And of course, there's always communication with your stakeholders. In every job, you will have some sort of client, stakeholder, someone who you are prioritizing their needs, working on their needs, sharing their needs. You are their voice. Learn how to communicate effectively for you and those you are communicating for. Number four, problem solving and critical thinking. Problem solving and critical thinking don't just apply to coders once again. You will run into all types of issues, whether it's a presentation, maybe like I said, a stakeholder has an issue or you have conflicting stakeholder needs. Things just aren't working. Timelines aren't working. How are you going to solve it? How are you going to show that you are a leader in getting your team to the finish line? Whether it is sales, whether it is project management, whatever it is, problem solving critical thinking is always something that needs to be there. Be ready to think on the spot, be ready to maneuver on the spot, and be ready to act on the spot. I think a key factor here, too, is don't think of your problems as frustrations. Think of your problems as opportunity. When you see something as an opportunity, it is a lot easier to have a more positive spin on it and think about how you can grow with your problem. All right, number six, adaptability. So many things will be out of your hands as you are a worker at a company. At levels way beyond you, they are making decisions that you, your manager, those near you cannot control. So be ready for project shifts. Be ready for team shifts. Be ready for your KPIs, your metrics, your team focus to change. It's going to happen. But the skills that you take with you can help with those pivot shifts if you focus and master them. Remember, it is okay to not know everything, but it is not okay to sit in that feeling and not learn to go with the flow, go with the shifts and maneuver. Number six, networking. 
Networking is probably one of the most important things I will say on this speech today. Network, network, network. It's not always about what you know, but who you know that'll get you in the right room, talking to the right people and leveraging the right resources. So those are my six habits for any tech role, no matter if it's super technical, super high level, you need it, you got to do it, master them. And honestly, you'll be successful at any role. Toodles.